So I went back and looked at some of my shotgun videos, and I realized I actually didn't cover the Lockwood 680 last season. I got all wrapped up in the Reclaimer 18 and the Haymaker, and I just kind of forgot the Lockwood existed, so I wanted to revisit it today. There hasn't been any changes to it, but my attachments themselves have changed just a tiny bit. One of my favorite shotguns in the entire game, I always love pump app pump action shotguns, especially when they're reliable one shot kills, just like this particular build is. As always, we're starting with a stock. You're gonna want the sawed off mod. Self-explanatory, when you're running a shotgun, you want to maximize on your movement, ADS, sprint to fire, any kind of movement that you're looking to do, you need to maximize. So the sawed off mod here is, well, massive. I'm gonna hide my camera so you can see everything that's being gained. But the big one I would say is gonna be that sprint to fire speed at 9%. On top of that, things like hipfire accuracy, overall movement are still also very important. At the end of the day, this is the perfect attachment for a shotgun. Our next attachment is gonna be the Express L Bolt or Light Bolt. It's increasing your rechambering speed and fire rate. Rather self-explanatory, especially when you have a pump action shotgun. There's not much to talk about. Increasing the fire rate is only going to help your call simply because let's just say you get hit marker, you miss your shot, you're gonna pump much quicker. It's a 79% increase to that rate of fire. Obviously, that's very, very important. For your next attachment, it is a muzzle with the Bryson choke. And let me explain. The big thing here is going to be the shotgun spread. I know a lot of people like to use some of the muzzles that increase damage range and things like that. But by keeping your pellet spread nice and tight, it's going to make your pellets not miss. Yes, you're going to have to be more accurate, but your one shot potential goes up drastically because of the 40% increase to not only shotgun spread, but we are also gaining things like hip fire accuracy as well. For our barrel, you're going to want the Bryson Hammer Forged Long Barrel. This is just one that makes sense. It's going to give you the most damage range at 24%. Along with that, a nice increase to ADS as well. There are some other barrels that's going to increase damage range, but as you can see, it's not nearly as much as the Hammer Forged so it just makes sense to choose this one. In my final attachment is the Kimura RYL33 laser sight. Just simple, increasing some more handling and mobility to help the shotgun cause. It's a massive 15% to sprint to fire. And also we're getting 9% to ADS, which this is a weapon I do aim down sight speed or aim down sight with a lot. So having a fast aim down sight speed is very, very nice. But primary purpose of this attachment is that sprint to fire speed. So here's gonna be all of those attachments on the screen. If you guys need to pause, now would be the time to do so. Copy all these attachments down if you guys want, or just skip right ahead to the gameplay. Here's also gonna be the rest of that loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this one down as well, I want you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know which shotgun you guys wanna see next. I have a pretty fire record Claimer 18 build since it got buffed that I've been working on and it's pretty dang reliable actually now. I, that was one complaint I had about the Reclaimer. It was very inconsistent. Since the buff, I have a new build that's insane. So just kind of putting that out there if you guys want to see it. But you guys go down in the comments section and let me know which shotgun you guys want to see next. So we're going to jump into a gameplay today on Shipment to feature the Lockwood 680. Insane gameplay overall. You guys are going to really enjoy that one. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get into it. I know somebody had asked for me to play other maps with shotguns which i did oblige to to be fair did play me i did play dos house and it's simple though when it comes to shipment and shotguns it gives me the ability to really feature not only the one shot potentials but the aggressiveness I am playing awfully to start. We're going to restart here. But yes, <clears throat> what is happening with the sounds of my game here? You guys hear that? Huh? That's odd. But I get to, I don't know. I'm so comfortable playing on shipment simply because all of the gunfights are close range. I never get put in a situation where I'm truly uncomfortable while running a shotgun, whereas Something like, let's just say, DOS House. I definitely have those moments where there's like the lack of comfortability. There's gunfights where I have so much more potential to die. You know what I mean? Where in this situation, like, let's just say, I don't get a one shot kill. But like right there. I have the potential to actually get it, I guess is the way. I'm still sick, so patience. I can't even speak. I can't even speak. I'm just in it. You know what I mean? I'm in danger is what I am in. Okay. 
Now I'm safe. Kinda. I just need to lock in this streak. There's one. There's advanced. I don't know who you think you're drop shotting. All right, we got to get this advanced UAV in. I'm frying. I don't care about a nuke necessarily. I need to give it my best effort. That's a 15. I can't really push up at the moment. Half tempted to pick up the MCW that's sitting right there. My team's frying, dude. Why did you spawn behind me? What? Oh, that's insane. Oh, that is tragic on so many levels of tragic. I mean, you can't make that up. I got time to get back in it, man, but that was just horrible. That sucks. They're all over there. Yes, UAV. This Mandalorian guy is just got my number. They're in it, man. Good news is I got another VTOL. We're going to give them some shmeat. We are 100% giving them that shmeat. Yup. Yup. Oh, I'm in it. I don't think you guys realize I am in it. Requesting recon flyover. I already have another advance. Hold on. Trophy system out. Again, Mandalorian is hitting me on the. Mm. All right. You know what? You guys hold this for me and en enjoy it. Really enjoy that for me. I totally forgot I just called that in. That's that's insane. This could get sketchy. I had everything set up for a nuke there, to be honest. Multiple advanced UAVs. I had everything going. And I bottled it. Mangalorian bottled it. Just like that, we're back in it. Yeah, hold it. Thank you. One kill, two kills off another VTOL. Apologies. Another VTOL. That's getting called right in. This Mangalorian kills me in the same spot again. I'm going to be just absolutely appalled. I'm bottling it. I'm bottling it. Fire. 
That's a that hit marker is insane. I can't do anything about this. Nope. No bottling allowed. We gotta we gotta lock in here. Wait, I have 127. Yeah, that's not good. All right, no bottling now. No way, this man, this Mangalorian guy, I am telling you, is my like epitome of my existence. It can't be explained in any other way. In any other way, it can't be explained. All right, hold on. Let's get it. I don't think a nuke is happening here, but a hundred and freaking however many freaking kills I got, man. I think that's a a good uh, second. Okay, hold on. Get on the hill, please. I'll give you money to get on the hill. All right, I guess it's me. I call it in. I did it, dude. I can't believe that was the. I couldn't call it in, but 173, and that definitely counts. That was an insane ending.